all installed until they use the uh, racks for that one. Um, so someone asked me earlier to do some cutting tests and things with the um, Evolution table saw. So I'm just going to do a quick video on that. Um, I've only cut MDF and hardwood um, plywood so far, so I'm not going into any hardwoods or anything like that yet. But so far it's doing all right. It's um, it was set up fairly square out of the box, so it's cutting quite square. Um, fresh blade, so obviously it chews through MDF and um, and hardwood ply, and yeah, not really had um, too many concerns about it. It is probably one of the most terrifying um, tools in my workshop. That and the router are a little bit, but I need to keep an eye on my technique. I use the push stick, air defenders, etc., and um, yeah, hopefully. I'll uh, maintain all the digits. Uh, yeah. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Gonna do some cutting tests with the table saw. We have, I think it's ash. Might be oak. I'm really terrible at telling what woods are. Which is 63 mil thick by 173 wide. Fairly substantial piece of timber. We got some cheap set ply, hardwood ply that was from a orange branded box store. Then we got some, which I think is Sapili, uh, which is 28, 29 mil thick by 170. And then we got some spruce or redwood or something, which is 31 mil thick by. 175. Gonna do a couple of cuts with the uh, table saw and uh, pass my judgment. So, one of my concerns in using the table saw was um, the positioning of the off switch, which, if I can cut this right, I'll show you where in the video, it's just on the side there. It's fairly straightforward, but when you're cutting and you've got a disc spinning at a couple of thousand RPM, I don't really want to be ducking down underneath it. To find the off switch, so um, I watched a video by um, one of the YouTubers, and he suggested um, Stu Parker Creations, who pre 3D prints these um, flappy paddle bits that should fit over the um, the MVR switch, and then I can just bop on the end, and it turns it off without having to think about Ooh, the off switch. So um, I'm going to fit this now, and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so there it is. There's the uh, switch. Comes with a little. Um, Adhesive tape thing at the back fits over the top and theoretically So, first cut was the uh, ply. It's on the uh, cheap shit, cheap stuff, sorry, language. Uh, ply, so it's not uh, particularly difficult. It's not even 18 mil, it's two, three, it's, uh, no problem. As you would expect. Uh, second cut was the softwood. What do you mean, here? Thirty 
36, 37 mil, whatever it was. Some uh, saw marks on there, but a nice clean cut. Square. Had a bit of a judder along the way, but nothing, um, nothing I felt unsafe with. All in all, a pretty good cut. No um, chipping or breakout or anything. Pretty good cut. Cut three was the Sapili. I left quite a few um, teeth marks in this, and there's a bit of a burn there. But I think that's from where I sort of paused to grab the um, push stick. Uh, cut. Again, it went through. Not too much of an issue. Um, not much in the way of um, chip out or splitting or anything like that. But it's a new blade, so I wasn't expecting anything like this. It's a pretty good cut. Felt pretty comfortable making it. No particular stress. Not bad. Turns out this was oak. Nice piece of oak, actually. Um, uh, first pass, well, I started and I didn't like it. It was a bit too thick. I was getting a lot of judder in. Made me a little bit nervous in the service. So I um, dropped the blade height and went through in three passes. But there's no real evidence of that. You wouldn't tell. Um, again, pretty straightforward cut all the way through. Bit more burn in there, um, possibly because the edge wasn't square, it was along the face, uh, the fence, so that might be what that was. Um, but yeah, it handled that. Um, yeah, that's about that, really. Yeah, that's uh, that's about it for this video, really. Um, as you've noticed, I don't use the mobile base. I haven't sorted out my dust extraction for the saw yet either. Uh, and as I've said earlier, this is my first table saw, so I don't really have uh, much in the way of experience of other saws, so I can't compare it to anything else. But so far, it's okay. It's doing well. Uh, if this video was useful to you, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.